Pedro, marked by irrational jealousy towards his new dog Thor, an imposing Rottweiler that Anna, his wife, had brought home. Decided to install cameras to confirm the reason for the dog's possessiveness towards his wife. When he saw the recordings, he began to cry at what he saw. Pedro had always considered himself a rational man, the kind who weighed each decision and rarely let himself be carried away by emotions. But the arrival of Thor, an imposing Rottweiler into his life and more specifically into the heart of his wife, Anna, awakened an unexpected and uncomfortable feeling, jealousy. Anna had brought Thor home on a sunny Saturday afternoon, her eyes shining with a mix of excitement and anxiety. He was rescued from the streets, Pedro. He was alone and scared. How could we turn our backs on him? She said, petting the dog's shiny coat, who looked at her with almost human gratitude in his eyes. Pedro tried to argue, mentioning the responsibility, the care, and, of course, the size and strength of a dog like Thor. But deep down, he knew the decision had already been made. Anna had that gift, the ability to turn compassion into action without hesitation, without weighing the pros and cons as he would. In the first few days, Pedro watched from afar the interaction between Anna and Thor. The way she spoke to the dog with a sweetness he rarely heard. How Thor followed her around the house, always at her feet, waiting for a caress or a look. Pedro could not deny the goodness of Anna's act, but something inside him twisted every time he saw the two together. Jealousy was a rare visitor in Pedro's life, but there it was, making its stay seem permanent. It wasn't just Anna's time and attention dedicated to Thor that bothered him. It was the ease with which she opened up to the dog, sharing secrets and smiles that Pedro began to feel were exclusive to their relationship. One night, while they were dining, Pedro tried to express his feelings, choosing his words carefully. Anna, don't you think we're dedicating too much of our time to Thor? Maybe we should, his voice trailed off suffocated by the look of surprise and then sadness on Anna's face. Pedro, Thor has brought so much joy to our home. I don't understand how this can be a problem for you, she replied, the confusion evident in her gaze. That night, Pedro lay in bed staring at the ceiling in the dark, the sound of Anna's peaceful breathing beside him. An idea began to form in his mind, a solution to quell his insecurities. To understand what was happening when he wasn't around, he decided to install cameras in the house, convincing himself it was for everyone's safety. Deep down, however, he knew the truth was more complicated. It was an attempt to confront the jealousy monster that had silently installed itself in his heart. In the days that followed, Pedro embarked on his mission with silent efficiency, installing small hidden cameras around the corners of the house. It's just a precaution, a way to keep us safe, he justified to himself. Though he knew safety was not his only motive, the cameras were discreet, almost invisible, and he strategically positioned them in the living room where Anna usually played with Thor in the kitchen, the place of her long monologues directed at the dog while preparing dinner, and in the hallway, the paths she walked from one room to another, always accompanied by Thor's faithful shadow. Pedro programmed the cameras to send the recordings directly to his computer, where he could review them at night when Anna and Thor were sleeping. At first, he felt like an intruder in his own home, spying on his wife's private moments with the dog. But curiosity, fueled by a jealousy he still struggled to admit, propelled him to continue. As he watched the recordings, a pattern began to emerge. There was nothing extraordinary in the videos. Anna talking to Thor about her day, laughing when he did some mischief, or simply sitting on the couch with Thor lying at her feet while she read a book or watched TV. It was a quiet, somewhat boring domestic life. Pedro began to question the purpose of his surveillance. What did he hope to find? A shocking revelation? A dark secret? Each clip watched only served to show how unfounded his jealousy was. Thor was just a dog, and Anna, his loving wife, was simply expressing her innate kindness, her caregiving instinct, which was one of the reasons he had fallen in love with her. However, one night while Pedro reviewed the recordings with a growing sense of futility, he came across a video that captured his attention. Anna was in the living room talking on the phone. Her tone was different this time, laden with emotion. Curious, Pedro turned up the volume, focusing on Anna's words. I'm glad you're well, Mom. Yes, I'm... I'm pregnant, Anna revealed, her voice trembling. Six months. 
I know I should have told you earlier, but I was scared after so many years of trying and with the doctor saying it would be difficult. I just didn't want to cling to hope. And Pedro, I haven't told him yet. Pedro's world stopped, pregnant, six months. An unexpected joy and deep regret intertwined in his chest. Regret for having doubted Anna, for letting jealousy cloud the truth of the love and trust between them. The revelation acted like a mirror, reflecting the truth Pedro had avoided. His jealousy was unfounded, a shadow without substance projected by his own insecurities. Now in front of the true complexity and depth of Anna's feelings, Pedro knew he had to make amends, not just with her but with himself. The decision was clear. He needed to confront what he had done, confess about the cameras, and more importantly, share the joy and fear of the news Anna still harbored within herself. It was time to tear down the barriers he had built, ask for forgiveness, and together prepare for the new life that was quietly growing in their family. The next morning, Pedro woke up with renewed determination. Anna's pregnancy revelation had realigned his priorities, dispelling the shadows of jealousy that clouded his judgment. With the decision to confront his mistakes and share the joy of the news with Anna, he planned a special night. It would be the perfect setting to open his heart, confess about the cameras, and most importantly, celebrate the pregnancy they had long desired. Pedro spent the day in a whirlwind of activities, carefully organizing every detail. He ordered Anna's favorite dish from a fine restaurant, bought flowers to decorate the house, and, after a hesitation, decided to uninstall the cameras, a symbolic act of ending his doubts and insecurities. When Anna came home that night, she found a transformed environment. Lit candles spread a soft glow through the room, and the aroma of her favorite dinner filled the air. Surprised and moved, she turned to Pedro, who waited for her with a nervous smile. Pedro, what is all this? She asked, her eyes shining with emotion and a hint of curiosity. A celebration, he began, hesitant at first but gaining confidence as he spoke. A celebration of us, of our love, and of our future. The dinner proceeded with laughter and light conversations, but Pedro felt the weight of his confession hanging over him. Finally, after dessert, he knew it was time. Taking Anna's hands in his, he began to speak, his words flowing more easily than he expected. Anna, first of all, I want you to know how much I love you and value our life together. But recently, I let jealousy and insecurity affect me in a way I'm not proud of, Pedro confessed, pausing to gauge Anna's reaction. She listened in silence, her face a mask of surprise and confusion. I installed cameras in the house, he continued, his heart beating fast. I was afraid, afraid of losing your love to, to anything or anyone, even Thor. The confession hung in the air, charged with tension and vulnerability. Anna withdrew her hands from his, processing what she had just heard. Pedro, that hurts me. It hurts because it shows you don't trust me, us, she sighed, searching for the right words but I also see the courage it took for you to tell me, and that means a lot. Pedro, braced for the worst, felt a thread of hope hearing her words. I, I also discovered something while watching the recordings, something that made me realize how wrong I was to doubt our love, he said, his voice shaky. Anna looked at him, curious and a bit wary. You're, you're pregnant, Anna? Six months, he revealed, looking into her eyes, searching for some sign of how to proceed. Shock and surprise crossed Anna's face, followed by an expression of relief and finally joy. She laughed, a clear, bright sound that filled the room. I was so scared to tell you, Pedro, scared that the news would be too much for us after everything we've been through. But seeing you now, I realize we should have faced it together as we always have. Pedro moved to tears, pulled Anna into an embrace, feeling a weight lift from his shoulders. At that moment, confessions and fears gave way to a deeper connection a silent promise to face the future as a united family. The night ended with Pedro and Anna sitting together, making plans and dreaming about the arrival of the new family member. Past insecurities were replaced by a shared determination to build a future filled with love, trust, and above all, unity. In the days that followed, the atmosphere in the house was one of renewed sweetness. Pedro, now free from the weight of his unfounded jealousy, dedicated himself to daily demonstrations of love and support for Anna. Each gesture, each shared look, was a bridge over the turbulent waters of the past, leading them toward a hopeful future. Anna, for her part, felt relieved and immensely grateful for Pedro's honesty. 
The discovery of her pregnancy had been a moment of solitary joy until then, marked by fear of Pedro's reaction and the uncertainties hovering over their future as a family. But now with the truth revealed and Pedro's unwavering support, she allowed herself to dream and plan openly for the baby's arrival. 